Yeah, I think um, I was actually kind of excited because I didn't want to wait too much longer to get out there and um, and bat. So um, yeah, it was a pretty exciting moment, and um, I knew it was becoming real and just about prepping um, to get ready to go out in the middle. Um, yeah, I got told by Gary Stead, uh, I think two days two days ago to say that you know you're going to be opening the batting. Congratulations! And um, yeah, I remember I had a, had a had a grin from ear to ear. Yeah, just sort of accepting that that um, that news, and I kind of like then said, right, it's time to switch on. I've got a job to do. Um, it's going to be really awesome. But um, yeah, start planning, start looking um, what what you're coming up against. Start having conversations with guys who have faced, you know, Broad and Anderson, um, and try and see what worked for them. And you know, we've got a lot of knowledge and experience throughout this group, so it's nice to lean on those guys when when you're seeking that advice. Yeah, I think um, it was it was a little bit challenging. I think during that period, um, you know, Mark Wood he clearly has some good pace, um, but I think the length he was bowling, I was more accustomed to that sort of bouncing, um, pretty much over my head. And I think the nature of the wicket just sort of just skidded skidded it through a little bit more unexpectedly. So, yeah, I think once I wore one or two on the body, it was about right. Okay, um, I need to come up with Plan B here and. I decided to try and take it on. So um, yeah, it was a good challenge, but I got through that. So happy days. Yeah, I think um, it was it was a little bit challenging. I think during that period, um, you know, Mark Wood he clearly has some good pace, um, but I think the length he was bowling, I was more accustomed to that sort of bouncing, um, pretty much over my head. And I think the nature of the wicket just sort of just skidded skidded it through a little bit more unexpectedly. So. Yeah, I think once I wore one or two on the body, it was about, right, okay, um, I need to come up with plan B here, and I decided to try and take it on. So, um, yeah, it was a good challenge, but I got through that, so happy days. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty special feeling, you know, when we, we arrived at Lords a couple of days ago, we walked into the change room and got the opportunity to have a look at all the legends and the names up on that honours board. And um, funny enough, I had a conversation with Kane a um, couple of days asking what it feels like to see his name up on that honors board and first thing he said to me when I got up to the chain room was you know now you know what it's like bro so um, yeah it's, it's pretty cool you know it's a great place um, and I'm pretty grateful that my name can go up there. Yeah certainly I think it's about uh, really kicking on and capitalizing uh, tomorrow when we get that opportunity to go out and bat again um, you know credit to the English bowlers they did you know bowl pretty well and they did ask good questions so um, we know we have to start again tomorrow and try and capitalize on the position we we're in. Yeah, I think uh, that wicket's slightly on the slower side. Um, so uh, yeah, a couple of the balls are keeping a little bit lower than expected. But um, yeah, I think, I mean, I, this is the first time I'm playing at Lords, so it's pretty hard to, to tell how it's going to go over the next few days, but I assume it'll probably get slower and lower. So um, yeah, we'll just have to try and plan accordingly when we get that opportunity to bowl.